I hate family circus. Um, but compositionally, um, their round little faces work well with the circle, and the dad's round glasses also repeats the shape of this circular format. And there are other curves in there. The square off table and the uh, squared off newspapers kind of is a foil for curves, so that's kind of good. Um, and well, it's Family Circus. Family Circus makes me angry and depressed every time. It's like you read all the comics and then you get the Family Circus, this one. It makes you sad and depressed. And like, I don't know. Daddy's probably drinking his uh, pain away because this kid gets dumb. <clears throat> Here's what I see. <clears throat> Family Circus has always been very edgy political. The parents represent the oppressive old school 1950s you must do it this way or you're going to hell kind of mentality. Right. Billy in particular is the new wave almost dead Kennedy sex pistols in your face which is why Billy often takes over the comic. So what he is seeing here is his father oppressing him with setting his drink on one of our, the new generation, posters. Posters, of course, being symbolic of that protection between enjoyment and functionality. It's not really funny, but, you know, it's got that political edge to it. That's what I see in Um, the only thing I can think of is that Coaster must be like a little scooter or something that the child plays with. Uh, generally speaking, I find the Family Circus to be one of the duller, uh, more obscure uh, ones of the comics that they can easily <laughs> stand to eliminate. See, the dad's sort of quizzically looking over at the son. The son seems to be saying, Daddy, set his drink on one of our coasters. Wow, sometimes comics bring out the profound. And sometimes the simple things in life, we don't always use coasters, for instance. And the fact that he's actually setting his drink on one of the coasters, it's almost like a William Carlos Williams poem. It's just so, it's a moment in life. And this boy is like a young poet growing up. And he realizes that this simple event is a as an emblem or a symbol of the profound. It's just beyond belief profound. And it's, it's so simple. Daddy set his drink on one of our Christmas poetry. I think he's talking about how you don't want the decon What's this up? The condensation to come up with the glass and go onto the table so it's really good on the coaster. It's making a general statement about life, about how you want to protect the world from things that can damage it, like water, which is a symbol for purity. So you're trying to protect yourself from purity, which is kind of ironic. So it's very deep. Clearly, Bill Heain is genius. Everyone's but known about the whole family circus stick for a while. It's an attempt to contain America's sick, depraved family values. I mean, Daddy set his drink on one of our, coast our coasters. You know, it's, it's supposed to be always set on the coaster, but the emphasis is Daddy's drink. You know what's in Daddy's drink? Nothing but bourbon. I mean, I, I, what are you supposed to be eyebrows? I think they're bruises. I think he just beats the shit out of this poor kid. <laughs> It's all smug. <laughs> Sees glasses and his like kind of expression. He's really smug. He's like, yeah, I'm really self-assured because I beat my kid and I drink. And, you know, the wife's gonna come in there and yell at him. I'll beat her too. <laughs> it's, it's not so much a vicious cycle as something funny. It's you know funnier than it is depressing. You know, unless it happens to you. Uh, first of all, there's the postmodernistic expression in which the artist is lamenting the fact that he only has room for one panel, in which case he has no room for a punchline which is naturally the greatest phobia of any true artist in American culture, the lack of room for a punchline. And you can see from the uh, cyclical shape that he knows he's going in circles. He's not getting anywhere. 
He's just having this one single first panel with no conclusion. It doesn't end, it just keeps going on and on and goes nowhere. Also, if you care to, uh, if you care to imply, there was a Newtonian experiment in the 1600s in which he tested the theories of pressurization through humor using a glass and a coaster, testing the depths of the glass depending on how funny a cartoon was about that glass. Uh, the experiment failed, so I don't know why he's talking about it. Because he said Daddy set his drink on the one uh, on one of our coasters. How's that funny? You know what a coaster is, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah you put your okay. drink on the other side of your So that's it. These two little I can't tell the them that said that's his fault. That's weird. But I can't. Here. I can't. Can you see this? I think the coaster is supposed to be something. Like, uh, like it. I think the coaster is supposed to be like a toy or something. And by R, he means the kids. Or maybe he's surprised that Dad put his drink on the cushion. Yeah, I would. So I get a little bit Because he doesn't want to do that. Uh, maybe something as if, like, it's like tears and it's like. I don't think it's it. Comedy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about the whole beating in circles thing, but um, I'm thinking the kids use the coaster for frisbees. It's their toy and they're, they're just kind of mad. That's what I'm thinking. Humor wise, okay. Daddy set his drink on one of our coasters. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't really think it's funny. I mean, Bill ran out of funny things to say. I don't really understand. So I guess I don't find it funny. Do you find it funny? I, I have no opinion. Huh? The fuck? <laughs> I, I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Daddy said it's great. Our coasters. It's pretty big. <laughs>